This exclusive forecast is provided by WLKY Weather. Whenever you need the forecast, just ask, what's Jay say? Hi, everybody. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi here at WLKY. Okay, a couple of nice events going on in Kentucky and as we move through the weekend. Both these events we're going to talk about happening on Saturday. So, hey, it's distinctly possible you could make one during the early afternoon hours, jump in the car, make the other one as we push into Saturday evening. Let's talk about both of those events. We have the Guns and Hoses charity flag football event going on. This is uh, this coming Saturday, of course, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, Oldham County, uh, in particular at uh, Buckner at the Oldham County Youth Football League. A great event. Check it out. A lot of fun going on there. All right, a little bit later on in the day in Madison, we have music at the mansion going on. It's a free concert. It's open to the public, of course. This is also happening Saturday uh, from 7 to 9 o'clock in the evening. Right now, overall, it looks like the weather will cooperate. You got to know that there's going to be a chance for maybe a thunderstorm or two for a short time, especially late day Saturday or Saturday early evening. Aside from that, we'll see partly cloudy skies. Upper 60s in the morning will climb into the upper 80s. By late day. Hey, Jay, tell us what do you say? Hey, Jay, what do we say? We can count on you. After two decades, we can say a lot about Jay Cardosi. We can say he has your most accurate forecast and is the Ohio Valley weather expert. But it's not about what we say. What matters is what's Jay say. What's Jay say about your weekend plans, your little league game? His answer is still the one more people trust. Want to know the forecast? Just ask. What's Jay say? say? Welcome to The Real Coffee Talk. Tina and I are here today. We've got some pretty cool things for you. And one of them is, we're going to talk about choosing the best leader for your community. And we've talked about this because in my schooling, of all of the schooling, a bachelor's <laughs> degree, cosmetology degree, whatever I've had, the one rule is never talk about politics or religion. But Today, we're not talking to you about politics. Right. We're actually discussing the proper way or the best way. We shouldn't even say proper, should we? Well, I don't know if it's, well, yeah, it's not proper or best. This, these are just some guidelines to help you choose a leader that's going to be representing you in and your, your community. community. Right. No, you know, no matter what that position is. So there's some of the things we're going to talk about that. So we're so. going to mention what makes a good leader and how do you know that you're voting for the best candidate for your community? So Debbie, what do you think about this? <laughs> well, may not want to know what I think, but here you go. This is just the way I do it. If somebody wants to represent me, whether it's in Frankfurt or whether it's um, in a committee or um, any, any type of position that they're going to be representing me. I look at how they dress. And I know that shouldn't matter, but it does. You know, um, do they dress for profession? Um, do they, how do they conduct themselves on Facebook? Now that's a big one because whatever they're doing on Facebook, they're going to do in that meeting at some point. They're going to forget where they are and they're going to act like they do on Facebook. Because what happens in social media is people think that that is just a, a shield. Like they can't see everybody, so then they think, well, I can just say whatever I want to on here. Right. And you know, we learned quite a bit when we first went and ventured out into California. It doesn't matter. The world is not so great big. You know, I know that it is uh, in a small community, right? but even the world, the great big world out there, everybody checks your social media. Yeah, they do. And they, and they don't just check it. They count, they're kind of 
critical about it. Sure. So if, <clears throat> let's say something's going to be coming up in our community as to whether we're going to get um, a big investment of some kind or whatever, those people are going to be looking at our leaders and look at their Facebook page right. and look at how they behave in meetings. Now when they do that, that tells them whether they want to be associated with us or not. So to me, that's a big thing. Your etiquette, you know, how do they talk? How do they act? How do they interact with other people? It just, to me, that's very important. Right. Now, I know, you know, if they have a college degree, I, it doesn't matter to me. It, it really doesn't. If it's not required for the position. For the, for the position, position yeah. right? Yeah. If it's not required for the position, it doesn't matter to me. But like I said, what does matter to me are... How do they act on Facebook? That means that's the way they're going to act in Frankfurt or wherever they're going to be. That means what you say, what yes. you say to other people. Yes. You know, there's quite a few things that go into and that. And how you say it. And Twitter. I mean, uh, yeah. one of the biggest complaints is all of our politicians that, you know, are at the federal <laughs> level. They utilize so much of social media. Uh, they tweet a little too much. Right. But the reality is, you know, people are reading it. So you are important if you are the person that's running. Not yes. only that, let's, you know, flip it over a little bit. If, they're, if you're expecting them to choose you, then be that same person yes. behind the camera or behind the social media right. venue. You, you really have to be careful. And if you are running for office, you need to remember those things. You know, just try to conduct yourself when you're in public the way you would if you were in a meeting. And right. if you're on Facebook, if it's not appropriate during a meeting, it's not appropriate for Facebook. Right. Or Twitter. And, and, or Twitter. Or Instagram. And, exactly. <laughs> and, and I'm going to tell you, I have seen posts on Facebook and Twitter and, and Instagram and all that that probably wouldn't want that person representing me. Right. So... So you actually Just, utilize those tools to determine yes. who would be the best leader for you. Yes. You create our community, so yes. make sure that you're being a part of that. And it's not to be a bad or a you know best no. or whatever, but actually choose the leader that would yes. represent your beliefs and yeah. your thoughts. Not just because you went to school with them or because, well, their mom and dad's really sweet. Well, that's great and wonderful. But they're going to be representing you. It's like right. sending yourself to Frankfurt and acting that way. Exactly. That's, that's where I draw the line. That's their brand. <laughs> their branding, right? If, if you're going to act that way, you're not going to represent me. Let me tell you. That's <laughs> so. True. <laughs> so choose so you choose your leader wisely yeah. and you know look at all the aspects. Yeah, and we do have elections coming up here in November in Kentucky. Yeah. Yes, in and November. Then, yep. And now Indiana, do they have elections this year too? I'm not sure. I'm I can't remember for out. sure, but yeah, so in Kentucky for sure. But yeah. just make sure you go a little step further. Check out their Facebook page and their Twitter and Instagram. Well, next up, we're going to talk about emotions and how emotions affect your health. Do they affect your health? Oh, yes. You think they do? <laughs> oh, yes. I think so. <laughs> Many people don't think so, but since I've been writing my Happy Coaching 101 and it's, I'm right. actually wrapping it up, but one of the conversations that I have in there and discussions is about how your emotions affect your health or how you feel in that day, how much you accomplish. And I know I asked the question, but it's true. They do affect you. So even if you're angry or if you're sad or if you're happy, it doesn't matter. They really do affect the way you feel. They affect your heart rate. They affect if you feel energized. So you want to just be careful when you do have those angry emotions or you do have those sad times and to just hold back a little bit, take a deep breath, let it all go, and then think, how can I feel better? And it, and it doesn't take that much. I think the interesting part is just I make a happy word and I have a happy word, you know. At, at any occasion, I'll have some time where I become just in a moment, I'm thinking, that really aggravated me. And so I'll just come up right now, mine is pink unicorns. I don't know, but <laughs> we have lots of happy words. But just change those thoughts and change when you have those, you have to have them. You have to have those negative emotions. And well, they always run in there Right, somehow. right. So. But when you do have them, take a minute to pause and breathe because everybody has them. Yeah. 
everybody has moments where they just lose control or they become angry or outraged and and that's normal but step back take a big deep breath in exhale blow it all out and then reassess well I think that's something we forget we, we talk about being kind all the time it's okay to get upset or angry right it's what you do with that afterwards do you know did you lash out did you break something you know did you drive too fast now you cross the line but it's okay to be upset or to be angry there's nothing wrong with that and if you don't agree with people that's okay too I right. mean Tina loves pink I do love pink I love red <laughs> I love Tina. To red dress. <laughs> I love Tina. But you'll see me in red or you'll see me in black most of the time. Now this dress is a little pink, but which is unusual for me. But it's just that we're not exactly the same and that's okay. I don't care, right. you know. And you just have to remember that if someone decides they like something better than what you like, it's not that they don't like you. It's right. that that's their preference, and and they, they may like be it. having a bad day if they uh, if they be. said something, but doesn't mean it doesn't feel any different. Right. You know, if you're the person on the other side and somebody attacked you verbally or something like that, right. it does create an emotion of agitation. Yeah. And yeah. I'll tell you, when we're talking about health health wise, does it affect you? If you think about it, and you have somebody that's very very sick, and all they think about is that illness. Yeah it doesn't improve no but if they could just tweak it just a little bit and think of something happy one little thing it may not heal them right but it will definitely improve the state that they're in at that moment well now you know my grandmother always said it doesn't matter how sick you are you get up you make your bed you take a shower and you get dressed that's an amazing <laughs> you might go back and lay down but you get amazing. up yeah and you do something you'll always feel better and I have always found that's true I still get up I still take a shower and I still get dressed I may be so sick I can't hardly stand it I've got a headache and I can't see you know migraine or whatever and I'll go take the shower and I'll get dressed make my bed and then I go back and lay down on the bed even though it's made up <laughs> right and I get a little blanket or something right. until I feel better but I don't just lay there and wait to feel better right your emotions and your thoughts yes affect all of that and like right. you said get up moving you know I know that I had a friend that skydives and I know we talk about this because Debbie thinks that sometimes she's gonna skydive and I'm gonna go with her and I'm not everybody <laughs> has this on recording and but I will, like go each other. I will go video her <laughs> I'm just not sure I'm that means she has to skydive if she's videoing I'm not me. jumping out of a <laughs> out of a airplane but I had this friend that was uh, he was actually a professional skydiver and he said one day he was so sick and he said I am not gonna be able to make this class and he had already set oh, it up no. you know and he was very upset he said but you know I just kept telling Telling myself get up yes and and go to the class and see he said it wasn't fever you know just didn't feel well he said he did not even remember it now that's an extreme <laughs> case okay because he still went skydiving and he didn't feel yeah. well I can't say I'm that wonderful but right. but he said you know like you said he got up and he just kept pushing and he kept pushing and he kept pushing but you know it's not about having to be totally ill it's just how you right. feel does affect Yes. how you feel and <laughs> you know she also would tell me that you are responsible for the way you feel um, Tina and I sitting here together today I'm not happy because she's sitting here making me happy I'm happy just because that's me but I don't wait for other people to do things to me and then go well I'm I don't feel good because I'm mad because what they did to me no, no. you know I if somebody has done something to me and it's hurtful I feel sorry for them because they now are not going to get to talk to me very often. <laughs> I'm just yeah, we're done with that. <laughs> yeah, I'm done with that one. You know. So, but then I see the fact that if if they've done that to me, they've done that to other people. So that means they're losing their friends, and that's where I'm I'm coming from is the fact I feel sorry for them because right. I see them losing their friends. Right. And there's nothing I can do about it. But you know. Other people are not responsible for you being happy or sad. No, that's, you that's are your, responsible. Yes. You are responsible yes. for your own happiness. Yes. And how you react. You know, I know Jack Canfield has one that says, I think it's event plus action equals outcome. Yes. You know, I think I think that's right. If it's not right, Jack Canfield, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that's correct. I know yes. that he has one that's fear, false evidence appearing real. But anything, if you have fear, 
if you have that, it makes your heart race. Right. If you're angry, I know one time I was super angry. I came in and talked to you, and I was like, I don't know why. I just feel so agitated, you know. And we just stop, breathe, relax, and step back and decide. Now, I'm going to finish this up with, in Jamaica, they do not have problems or issues. Did you know this? No. They have only solutions. They're always looking towards what's next. And it's not That's the exact thing. they should phase, be doing. But they always said that. Now, I haven't been there, but I have a good friend that's been there, and she said all Jamaicans will say, we're always looking. If there is an issue, it's a solution. We're right. looking for the next, the best way. I think that's a neat feeling. Well, I like that, you know, even if you're in a group in a meeting and an issue comes up, it's not why did you do that or why is that happening it's what do we need to do to fix it right yeah you need what to can we do yeah. to improve That's and the same with you <laughs> how can you improve when you're angry and your heart's over you're like ah. yeah how can you change that you just find a word find a word that makes you laugh something I'm always doing something crazy to Debbie you know and I'll I'll go into a little calm <clears throat> mode and then I'll just start making her laugh so reset those emotions we don't want you to have bad health problems yeah find uh, something to laugh about today. right maybe it'll be us and, I don't know <laughs> well, it probably will be because we're going to shout out to some people aren't we we are we have some people that uh, we know are at home and they're not able to get out they're trying to recover from different things surgery or illnesses of mm -hmm. some kind and uh, we saw I saw a lady today in Bedford and she's super sweet just super sweet but she's having to take care of mr. Vincent so, Hi, Mr. Vincent. We want to say, hey, Mr. Vincent. Get to walk feel a little better. slower. <laughs> and we'll see you around, I'm sure. We hope that you like this. <laughs> Which is up next, those of you that already know who Mr. Vincent is. He is the previous yes. middle school. Was it middle school? Yeah. Principal. I'm sorry, I didn't work for him, so I don't know. Yeah, he, was at, he was at Trimble County. Right. And so he was the principal there. He did a lot of things besides being the principal, but he's... Uh, a little bit under the weather and uh, so we'll let him bring in our next topic which is back to school <laughs> these were my favorite days I know even as a teacher I was always the one that was running and saying, I'm so glad to be back so you know back to school what do we need to think about when you're going back to school I know parents I know oh, you're excited wow. but you have some things you need to check out right and a lot of it is you know you know what clothes they need you know what shoes they need and all that but it's getting all those supplies that they need and mm -hmm. I'm sure you're waiting on the teacher to send an email or whatever a lot of the schools will have the the list of supplies for the classes on either their website or their Facebook page mm -hmm. so don't necessarily wait for the teacher to send it to you in an email start checking Right. Check their website, check their, you know, their Facebook page or whatever, and see if you can find that list and go ahead and get it done. If, if you're like me, I want it done right now as soon as possible right. so I don't have to worry about it. I don't, and the I don't kids, like last it minute. It really kind of builds an excitement. Even when mm -hmm. they're in middle and high school, don't let them fool you guys. They're still excited. I can yeah. remember one year I brought in for every kid that was staying with Nicholas. Well, I brought in just stacks of notebooks and they were like oh wow and everybody was grabbing it I was like wait a minute wait a minute I got these for school but even those big kids you know the yes. college kids they oh, love yeah. they, they love do. their back to school what am I talking about I love back to school stuff I well, always buy my ink pens my newspaper or yeah. not, not my newspaper my paper yeah so you need to check them out online you can also get them yeah. I think sometimes the newspapers run those lists okay some some newspapers do some don't mm -hmm. So it, the best thing to do would be the website and the Facebook, Facebook. page. Mm -hmm. So they all have those on there. I know um, I noticed some of the grade schools I already saw their stuff out on Facebook. So yeah. they've already got some of the grade schools do. And if you haven't seen it, I do. I wish I did know, but that's okay. Debbie doesn't even know I'm bringing it up. There is a video of a mother that talks about all the things that she doesn't care what she has to buy as long as those teachers take her kids. So if you've ever seen it, it is cute as a button. She is a really good whatever she's doing, but it's hilarious, and I thought that would be fun. So I'll do, I'm, I may find it, and I'll post it and let you share there it. There you go. It is cute as a button. She's, like, talking about how wonderful the teachers are, and she didn't care what she bought, and it was cute. So just look it up. Yeah. One thing we want to remind you about, this is something, and I know even as teachers, as far as veteran teachers, going through that handbook when you're in middle oh. school we had we had to read it to them but parents 
just to give you a little piece of advice to make your life a great deal easier is yes read and highlight that handbook I can't tell you how many times I read things to students and then I knew when they weren't paying attention I would ask them a question but then when they would come back with you know they didn't know we would yeah. go over it again but the interesting part was they did not know that was in that handbook no and a lot of them don't even know there is a handbook right. because the parents have never told them about right it. so to save yourself some grief and to get the kids on the right track ahead of time is get the handbook read it tell your kids about it you right. can do it in a short narrative you know you don't have to read every word of it but you can just say you know you're not allowed to wear that t-shirt you can't wear to school mm -hmm. anymore you know before they wear it to school and have a bad day and then a bad week you know why you don't want your kids to have that issue happening so just read through the handbook and then sit down with your kids at dinner or something and go over what's in the handbook and I think the a, easiest way to approach it is it's just like your driving guide when yes. you're learning to drive. Yeah. Well, it's the same. It's it's just like the job description for the kids that are coming to school. <laughs> right. you, know? you know, this I keep thinking of all the issues that are going on in schools today. <clears throat> and I just need to say, listen guys, your public education is created by you. Yeah. So the blame game has to stop, guys, because public education, I mean, so with private, but those people pay to have that spoken. Right. Okay. So then everybody says, well, they get paid for as many kids, and I've heard, all, I've heard everything about pay in school. Listen, <laughs> public education is for your kids for you your kids it's and that's just the way it is I mean we have the greatest country I'm still gonna go back to it Debbie yep I I know there's people I was very upset but there were some people that made my heart race a little bit over July 4th and said they weren't proud to be an American <sighs> it still makes my heart race a little bit but I'm gonna tell you something go to another country and then come back here and tell Miss Drake or Miss Crawford that you aren't proud to be an American because I have been in other countries yeah. that were less than and yeah. didn't have as much so go back I'm off my pedestal well just make sure you go by the school and get them get the manual so that you know what the rules are for the school and uh, you know what t-shirts the kids aren't allowed to wear what dresses the Shorts. girls aren't allowed to wear I don't even Shorts. know if they can wear flip-flops anymore I don't, I don't know, know. <laughs> I, I haven't don't. read that <laughs> yeah my kids are too old for that but too. I have grandkids but you just it's just better for the kids and then that way they're not walking into school with something on that they're going to be told they have to take it off, turn it wrong side out. That's embarrassing. You right. Know? So don't, don't let them have a bad day just because they don't know the rules. And even though accidents happen, it does. Oh, yeah. I know one time I oh, had yeah. accidentally let a kid go out and they had a little shorts on, a little elementary. It was a little bit too short. But I promise if it's not all the time, the teachers <laughs> understand. I would look at them yeah. and say, it's all right, we'll get something. You know, so yeah. they do understand. Yeah. And read that handbook. We want you to have a great year. I don't care where your kids go to school. Right. If you're a student, we want you to understand that your education, just like your emotions and how you handle them, is the same thing. Right. And free appropriate, uh, free appropriate public education in the United States can be pretty amazing it can be yeah if you want it to be <laughs> well I went to both I can say anything I want <laughs> yes, you, can, cause you, you can talk both sides of that I went to private I went to private college private elementary public so I can say that about any of them <laughs> <laughs> so funny. just make sure you do that for your kids yeah make sure they start off on the good on a good foot and then they'll have a better year at least one last incident maybe during the year so right that'd right. be great and as always, we greatly appreciate you watching. One more thing. Okay, what? <laughs> Sorry, guys. What? Everybody has down times. Mm -hmm. And we've talked about this, and everybody knows I'm emotional. I always get emotional. But listen, everybody has down times. Everybody has times where they want to cry. They have times when they're happy. But nothing ever is not going to pass and that's what we want to end our message with today we love talking about all this stuff to you guys we love being together but the truth of the matter is everybody has times that are down and we want you to know that this too shall pass and to please stay with us and live love and whoops carry on 
God bless.